Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Yo-B, bringing you a brand new video here. Highly requested is you guys want to loop pass for the Mythic POIs, especially. So we're going to be starting off with Authority. Now, number one, what you want to get good at is you want to get good at your drop for my strategy that I'm doing, which is I'm going to be going for the disguise. I'll explain it as I'm doing it. But you want to just get into multiple games and keep jumping out the bus so you get the best drop pattern or loop path, whatever you want to call it. So just to get comfortable with all different bus routes i'm gonna be going for right here there's some good loot and then there's oh my god there's the freaking disguise thing dude i can't talk okay do you see the disguise things right there so what i like to look for is a gun somewhere close to it obviously i bricked my drop but you know if you're better you'll get a better drop so i want to look for guns that are around it ideally one of these land on it I could try to go for this chest right away. First of all, no henchmen usually bother me here. No one really bothers me as well from outside. And then I quickly go for the, the disguise station. Pick up, there's extra loot right here as well sometimes. I just got lucky with the shield there. And then I go, I go loot down here because it's usually pretty free. No one's really down here right away. You get this quick chest off bat. Another gun spawn, some other chest event. But I go for this, I scan myself, get some extra shield or guns or loot, whatever. Right, so I got some more minis in there. Pop the minis. If I don't, if I don't get the big shield, you know, I just I just hit the two juice for extra extra juice here, and then I break this. You can actually just break it quickly with the with the wooden ramp. It'll save you time. And yourself here, there's sometimes good loot. You know, there's an extra chest. You might as well get it. Right, so now you're pretty stacked to go kill jewels. Unfortunately, for some reason, I didn't get a shotgun. I usually get a shotgun, but you, you can just break all this stuff. With, with wooden with wooden uh with wood or whatever mats you have so just pretend i got a shotgun this time it's actually pretty pretty crazy i didn't get one now i'm gonna go kill jules and get her get her get the key card i go around this way because it's just it's the easiest way and there she is she's sitting pretty right for me she's always in a different spot but the thing about being in the disguise is you can get the leg up and you can also kind of wait. You don't have to kill her right away because obviously there's going to be other people. I'm just doing this in custom right now. But what you could do is you could even box her up. Sometimes I box her up like this. And then I just I just kill her really quickly. And no one, no one really bothers me. If I had a charge shotgun, she would have died a lot faster. Pick up the card, pick up the grappler, whatever you want, you know. Now, a pro tip that I like to do as well. You see, now no one's bothering me because I'm boxed up, right? This, that's why I try to box her in and then kill her. It's just, it's just a lot easier. And you know, I'll take the, I'll take the grappler for, for this, and the drum gun. Why not? Why not? And you can see the vault is there on your screen. But what, what I like to do is I like to go for the, the disguise kit again. So, anyways, I like to hit my disguise kit again. Now, what that does looting the vault it's way way easier guys it's way easier looting this this vault when you when you're in disguise because what's going to happen is there's going to be little campers little ratatouilles waiting for you to to do this and the hunchman could bother you so what i like to do is box up this like i said you don't need a lot of mats for this you can't box this guy you can put it do that do that so the lasers don't hit you and then just scan and this guy doesn't bother you right you can even block it off even more like this if, you, if you'd like all right figured me out kill him and then all the loot's yours now what you got to be careful of is people will camp after you've opened it even more because that's just that's just what people do. However, I like getting this the stuff because when you've got the grappler, it's pretty easy to escape. Right? So people will be camping. So you got to go out this way. Open this. Now you could again, you you could go for a third time to disguise yourself if you really want to. I sometimes do because like I said, they won't give you any problems and people won't think twice to shoot you. And then if anything, you just grapple away, right? You don't even need to go for the disguise. You just grapple away and you're chilling. You've got the loot. You're out of there. That's pretty much it. That's, that seems to be the fastest, most effective way 
unless you want to go for the the route of waiting for people to kill jewels and do all try to do it but what i've experienced is it's, if i can get in this right away with a decent gun i go down here i do my normal loot real quick i loot this stuff no one really bothers me down here okay and you get all this loot to yourself and then you go kill jewels like i did you just box her up kill her get her stuff try to get in the in the disguise again if you can and then you should be chilling so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show now on Loot Lake just real quick an overhead view of how to do it. Alrighty guys, we're in lootlake.info now. So what I'm going to quickly show is where to that will, you know, obviously help you go in the disguise kit. So you land, you go for the you, you go for a gun, right? So you go for a gun, then you go for the disguise kit, then you go underneath. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go for a gun and one of the chests you're going to look around underneath the helipad over here for for a gun, some loot. If there is any, then you're going to go for the disguise kit. Remember, check that little corner. Then you're going to run underneath. You're going to go underground and you're going to break those vents. All that good stuff. Then hopefully you've got shield and a shotgun now and you're in the disguise. So what you can do is you can go up to the main floor, look for jewels, box her in, get the free kill, try to go disguise again, and then go for the vault. I think that's the best strategy. Remember, box yourself up when you're in the vault. I think that's the best strategy. I could make a strategy on if you want to wait for people to do that as well. However, I found that getting the car, getting the grappler, even if you can't get the vault because people are camping it or whatever, just getting the grappler and getting out of there is 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 honestly more important than getting the vault because the grappler will help you win end games. The main the main big thing there is being the disguise, going for boxing her up. I never I don't see too many people box her up to get the free kill. I hope that helps. Comment down below what other POI you'd like to do. I was thinking maybe doing Caddy Corner as well. I I live stream every day on Twitch, 10 p.m. Eastern. We do solo arena viewer customs. I'm gonna be playing the solo F and CS as well. So thanks for watching, thanks for following, thanks for subscribing. Most importantly, thank you for your time. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, you already know. I'm off this. Peace.